Now that our project is all set up, it's time to build something. In this lesson, we'll learn how to make the header of our website. It will have a menu, a logo, and social media icons. To do this, we'll need to add elements. Let's go to the elements panel on the left sidebar. To start, let's add a row container. In the elements panel, you can find the row element in the layout section. We'll click on the icon, and it will be added to our currently selected element within the canvas. In our case, the container was added to the root of the page. We can also add the row element by using the keyboard shortcut R. The row element has its display set to flex and its width to 100%, so it is perfect for creating sections inside of it. You'll notice it also has a dashed gray border. This is a temporary style that will be removed once you add content inside the container. We will also rename the container to header and set its semantic type as header as well. Let's add the three texts in the image by using the keyboard shortcuts T for text and I for image. For the social media icons, we'll go to the asset manager in the icons tab. From here, we have access to hundreds of icons from five popular libraries. We just need to search for what we need and choose the icons we like best. We have our elements, now it's time to add some styles. On the right side of the canvas, we have the Style Inspector panel. It is divided into two, the Visual Inspector, where we can quickly set the most common properties, and the Advanced Inspector, where we can add any CSS property we want. Let's add some padding to our header by going to the Padding section, and clicking on the plus sign. When we click on the input, we can see a list with all the available spacing tokens. We'll choose double unit, then click the lock icon. This will set two rem padding on all sides. Next, let's arrange the elements inside the container by using the positioning icons in the layout section. Our text elements are a little too far apart. We can select all of them by holding Ctrl or Command and clicking on each of them. Now let's group them with right click and group. This will enclose everything selected inside of a new container. Let's space them out a little by selecting all the texts and adding margin right double unit. To change the text content, we'll double-click on each text to enter edit mode. I already selected some images for our project. Let's quickly see how we can upload them. Let's go to the Asset Manager, and from here, we can upload our images. Now we can set the logo. We'll select the image element and click on the desired asset to apply the image. For the icons, we'll do the same as we did for the text, select them, and group. Now, we have to wrap each icon within its own container. Let's select all the wrapper containers, and set a half unit padding, round radius and 300 purple color. We'll space them out by settings margin left to unit. We're almost done. We just need to style the icons, set the color to white, and change the size to unit. We have our header. Next up, we will learn more ways to position elements while building the main section of our website. 